So, uh, what made you want to become a principal here? Um, I didn't really think about being a principal. I started out, I wanted to be a marine biologist. I got into college. I had a, my daughter decided that wasn't probably the best career. Um, a professor suggested that I take a education class, teaching science class. I did. I liked it. I did some volunteer work in the school, decided I wanted to be a teacher, became a teacher. And then when I um, started my career as a teacher, I observed a reading specialist teaching kids who had trouble in reading. And I always stayed away from reading because it was very hard for me. I was way below grade level. So um, as I watched her, I thought, wow, if I had known how to do that as a reader, I probably wouldn't have been such a struggling reader. So then I went and I got my reading specialist, my reading recovery training. Then I became a literacy coach. Then I worked in the curriculum department for a little bit. And then finally, um, when Jan Sefferman was superintendent, she asked me if I would take the principalship here. And I said, sure, why not? I'll try it out. Did my leadership uh, cert, and here I am. Wow, so you've been pretty much everywhere in this school <laughs> and around here. <laughs> yes, I have. I've worked in all the buildings. That's crazy. So, yep, I've done something in um, all of the buildings in Heartland. It's awesome. Yeah. So uh, what changes have you made since the previous principal? Well, that's a hard question because the previous principal was fantastic. I followed Dave Minsker, and he had a terrific career here, and the building was super successful. He had built a great team environment and culture. So I basically tried to hang on to that um, and, and increase the amount of interventions that he had started. So I've trained a lot of additional teachers in reading recovery. We've expanded the special ed department. Um, to include teachers that have that specialist in reading certification. So we've worked really hard at um, improving our interventions and our teacher expertise. I would say that's been my focus. Gotcha. That's a good change to make. <laughs> <laughs> it's been working out okay. <laughs> so uh, what are some of your favorite things about your job here? The kids. Um, of course. Probably my favorite thing. I also really enjoy working collaboratively with a staff for kids and problem solving with large groups of people. I always like to do that kind of work um, when I was a teacher and I get to do it all day long now. I mean, I'm constantly meeting with grade level teams or um, custodial or whatever to troubleshoot problems and come up with good solutions. So that's probably my favorite thing, but yeah. always the kids. <laughs> for sure, always. So how has this school year started off so far for you? I think this school year's been great. Coming out of two years of COVID, it was a really refreshing start to be able to just come in and really focus on kids and teaching yeah. and not have to deal with all the politics. So yeah. it's been a good start. Yeah, it's definitely nice uh, not having all those restrictions and rules to deal with. Yeah, and, and there was a lot of division during COVID. I mean, in the world, and the school is just kind of a small microcosm of the world, right? So if there's big division in the world, there's big division in the school. And not having that has been really nice. Yeah, for sure. All right. So what are your plans to improve in this school in the coming years? Um, I think we'll stay the course around um, improving interventions and collaboration among staff. Um, but also, one of the things that we're really looking at this year is we have a large number of students who do really well on the daily, and then when they take tests, it doesn't show. And so we're really um, digging into that year to see what we can do for those students so that they can really show their learning on the ass assessments because they're performing well, but then test anxiety, I don't know, right? Like we're unpacking it. Maybe it's the language on the test they're not familiar with. So we're really working on that this year. And I think that's going to be helpful for kids. Yeah. Probably for the rest of their life, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know I'm definitely not a good test taker. So that would definitely be helpful for me. Yeah, I wasn't either. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm looking forward to help, being able to help them so that they can do well on tests when it really matters, right? When, when the stakes are high. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, so what education or certifications did you need to get this job? You have to have um, a teaching certificate. So you have to have a four year certificate. It took me six to get mine. Um, and then you have to have 
some sort of graduate work in leadership. So you either have to get a Michigan administrative certification or you have to get a master's in leadership or in educational leadership or um, some advanced degree. I have a, um, I have a bachelor's in teaching, science major, math minor, and then I have an early childhood degree with a reading endorsement. And then I have um, my leadership cert. So I kind of have a few. Yeah. So it definitely <laughs> takes some, you got to know what you're doing to be yeah, a principal. You to, yeah, you have to be a you have to do a lot of work and honestly the best the best learning i've had has been on the job and having um colleagues other principals be mentors to me and um of course i get good guidance from the superintendent and head of curriculum and human resources as well they've been really good mentors so and and then we go monthly the principals in heartland go monthly well all of the county to um county leadership meetings um where we get additional PD in um, leadership and how to take initiatives that are coming down from the state forward in our building in a successful way. So lots of support. Gotcha. So were you teaching before you became a principal here? Yes, I taught 11 years in Howell and then I moved to Round or to Heartland, sorry, I've been here 15 years. I did, I think about nine years in um, reading, recovery, literacy coaching, curriculum work, and then I've been here the last six years as a principal. Gotcha. So you definitely have a long teacher career. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I've been around a little while. Yeah. <laughs> so what are your favorite things about this building around? So um, the building itself is a circle, which um, I thought was really odd when I first started working in Heartland and I was coming to the building as a coach. But one of the fabulous things about working in a circle is I see everybody every day. You can't pass, you can't walk around this building without um, interacting with everyone because it's just one big hallway. Yeah. So that's a really cool design. I I would recommend that design going forward. I think it the, it has created or helped support um, a family kind of setting. So our parents, our kids, they see their siblings all day. Um, just the structure alone lends itself to having that small community family feel. And, um, and then the staff here is really amazing, which makes my job easy. And um, we have great support from families. So, so many good things. I'm fortunate to be here. Yeah, I remember walking through this building when I came through and it felt huge. And then we just took a walk through and we got around it in about 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah. after I do the pledge, I usually take a walk around the building um, and it literally takes me less than five minutes. And that's chatting on the way, right? Like, good yeah. morning, how are you? You know, do you need anything? That kind of thing. And I can still make it in five minutes. <laughs> yeah. So it's convenient. It definitely feels a lot smaller now. <laughs> so... I have to ask, has there been a better class since ours, the 2023s? Yeah, that's a tough question. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I would say the 2023s were awesome and set a good expectation for everybody who came behind them. Yeah, we were a little rowdy at times, but I think we were a good class overall. You were a good class, <laughs> and you did well here. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah. Well, again, thank you for your time here, and it's a pleasure to see you again. Thank you. It was fun. Yeah. It was nice to see you too. Yeah. <laughs>